developments tonight in the case of a Spokane man who shot a domestic violence suspect bullying his girlfriend on a Spokane sidewalk. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. Edward Bushnell will spend another night in jail after a judge today set his bail at a half million dollars. He's charged with second degree murder because police say he shot a man that had been fighting with his girlfriend and he did so when the deadly force was no longer justified. KXY4 is Jeff Humphrey working for you. He's at the shooting scene tonight near 5th and Altamont. And Jeff, uh, police say Bushnell admitted to shooting this man in the back? And Nadine, that's because Bushnell felt that his life and that lady getting dragged around by her boyfriend were still in danger. However, Spokane police say at that point, Bushnell simply should have kept his gun handy and called 911. Sir, are you uh, Edward uh, Bushnell? Yes, sir. It's our first look at Bushnell, who pulled combat duty in Iraq for the Washington National Guard. Police say Bushnell was riding a skateboard near 5th and Altamont when he saw William Poindexter abusing his girlfriend. Bushnell challenged Poindexter to pick on a man your size, not a woman. A physical confrontation then ensued between Bushnell and Poindexter. After the short confrontation, Poindexter and the female walked away in an attempt to leave the area. Bushnell says during the confrontation, Poindexter assaulted him with this wooden bat that was later recovered by investigators. But police say what Bushnell allegedly did next was not a justified use of deadly force. The defendant retrieved a handgun from a backpack, made the decision to go after Poindexter, who had walked a short distance away, and fired three shots at Poindexter. Two of the rounds struck Poindexter in the back. Bushnell says he opened fire because he thought Poindexter was still a threat. Today, his attorney said Bushnell doesn't need to be behind bars while awaiting his trial. But I'd like the court to know my client is 27 years old, does not have any prior criminal record. He's been in the military for six years serving our country. He was in Iraq in combat. And while Bushnell is not claiming combat-related PTSD, it's possible his military training did play a role in what happened during the shooting. And Nadine, the defense is also expected to point out that if Bushnell was really begging for trouble here on Altamont, they would have pulled out that pistol long before Poindexter hit them in the head. In the meantime, he's held in our Spokane County Jail in lieu of a half million dollars. Reporting live, Jeff Humphrey, KXNY4. Thank you, Jeff.